on the Iron Man of Maine. Push number five. I traveled all the way here to the Maker Fair to show off my latest project. It took me about five months to build the suit from scratch, from the paint job and electronics and everything else, doing the final touches on it. Sometimes we just see ourselves as consumers, not as producers. And so I think at the heart of the maker movement is this idea that we all create things, we all make stuff, we all produce. It's, it's what we do. I'm a maker. We built a 3D printed animatronic robot. It does have a camera in the eye. And, and we can run a script that actually watches movement. I downloaded the plans for this off of the internet. It took about 400 hours of printing and about three or four months of nights and weekends to put it all together. The kind of enthusiasts that are here, we're responsible really for the personal computer revolution. Those are the kinds of people that said, hey, I want to play with these things and try to figure them out. They end up creating companies like Apple Computer. This is a robot that a group of us built, so you would be able to mount antennas onto it for amateur radio. It would drive up a 50-foot light pole. It, by being able to get antennas 50 feet in the air, it would extend the range a lot, which during emergency situations would be incredibly useful. Everything back here is built by me. The plasma cutting table. Over here I have a um, 3D printer that was made out of steel. In the background, I have a, a, a quadcopter, which is a quad helicopter. So the reason I built this is because I actually wanted a machine that, that performed this function, but I can't actually afford a real one. One of the most important things which makes Makefair possible, open source, open access, and the web, where everybody can share their designs, communicate their ideas, learn from each other, and implement them though in their things. Computer vision algorithms are widely available these days, and we wanted to bring it to education. EngageSense is a teaching tool that gives teachers a way to see during their lesson plan when students are really into the, what's going on and when they're kind of losing it. This make a movement is continuation of social web. The idea that the content from normal people is as valuable as the content from, from the top. Are going to people make 3D print their own cars? Are they going to build their own PlayStations and, and mobile phones? Maybe not right now, but I think in the future there is a probability. <laughs> <laughs>